Welcome. Uh, now today uh, we'll get some more information about the object life cycle management methods and the object life cycle methods. What are uh, these two different and how these two uh, terminologies are different and how this will be helpful in case of spring bean life cycle management. Okay. Uh, we'll dig inside little bit. Uh, suppose if we go for a uh, general analogy like in human beings how we are having different states like uh, between the birth and the death right uh, these two are the two major uh, states uh, these are these we treated as a life cycle management methods and the remaining activities which we are performing like joining school, studying, exams, uh, completion of 10th, uh, B.Tech, M.Tech, then doing different jobs. These are the different life cycle methods. Okay. But we can treat life cycle management methods are the two major activities. Once your birth is complete, post construction and death means pre destroy we can uh, treat these two things as the major life cycle management methods in case of human beings life cycle similarly even in case of java as well we are having uh, life cycle management methods and the life cycle methods okay uh, the life cycle methods we can life cycle management methods means once the object is creation completed after that we need to perform some mandatory actions that we can achieve through the constructor and similarly before destroying any object we need to do some cleanup activity on the object we can achieve that through the finalize method this is coming from the object level. We need to override this method and we need to perform the cleanup activity specific to that particular object in case of Code Java. So these two methods like constructor and constructor may be with arguments or without arguments anything treated as a constructor. Okay, constructor and finalize these two methods we can treat as a life cycle management methods okay but what about the life cycle methods in case of core java means apart from these two methods the remaining methods we can treat as a life cycle methods uh, in a few minutes we can get to know how this can be achieved through programmatically how the flow will be okay similarly in case of servlet api as well we are having the life cycle management methods those are nothing but init and destroy method. Uh, suppose once the servlet, okay, uh, before navigating servlet API, as even though Core Java is providing few life cycle management methods, why again we uh, move to servlet API life cycle methods? Because as we are aware, the Java objects are managed by the JVM. But in case of servlet API, objects are managed by the servlet container. So in case of servlet container, we may not achieve this functionality, uh, lifecycle management methods through constructor and finalize method. Because of that, in case of servlet API, we can achieve the lifecycle management methods through init with the servlet config parameter and the destroy method okay then the remaining other methods in case of servlet api we can treat as a life cycle method say suppose uh, service is my life cycle method okay now we can see this uh, in core java uh, how the object creation initialization happens then if you are having time then we navigate to the bean life cycle of spring okay 
as I updated earlier post construction once the object is created post construction we need to perform some mandatory activities and before destroy pre destroy we need to do some activity okay now I created uh, one of the sample program okay this is the program uh, programming language here I am having attribute languages so I am providing this languages attribute information through the constructor at the time of object creation itself I need to provide the which language for this programming language and I am having one general method we can treat this general method as life cycle method and whereas the constructor and the override and destroy means finalize method we can treat as a life cycle management methods okay and this is a normal java method and this is the main method okay so when we are creating the object for this programming language class we need to provide the string as input for the constructor once this is fine then my programming language object is ready so this we can treat as a post construction once object is created by using new operator I am performing some activity inside my constructor okay this we can treat as a life cycle management method once begin then we need to perform multiple life cycle methods life cycle methods may be user defined method in my case I created one uh, general method just it will print okay this we can treat as a life cycle method so once the object is nullified then this object will be uh, removed by using the garbage collector from the JVM memory and whatever the final lies method we written this is nothing but some cleanup activity just I will run this program then we will see how the inputs and all see the java programming language when I created the object then it is printing the this java programming language now this is simple system out dot println so now my post construction is completed now I am proceeding for the life cycle methods means general method whichever activity then I am making this particular object as nullified and I am triggering the garbage collector then it is goes to the end of the garbage collector and when I am printing the, this object this will be null because I already made that one as null so now the object state is about to destroy here we need to perform some activity by using this finalize method we can perform this so this is, we can treat as a pre-destroy hope this will give some uh, some more extra information or some more extra knowledge added to to you now uh, let's go for the servlet api okay uh, this is how uh, the core java constructor and finalize these two methods we can treat as a object life cycle management methods yeah uh, let me navigate <coughs> sorry let me navigate to the uh, few of these existing sites where we can get the information yeah uh, life cycle of servlet these are the different stages of the uh, servlet object life cycle okay uh, by going through any tutorial we can get this information loading a servlet and initializing a servlet and handling the request okay in case of loading a servlet whenever the first request is coming to the container the container will load that particular object okay and then initialization of servlet 
by using init method with servlet config as parameter this method will be initialized suppose i want to send few information to my servlet how can i provide information means through init parameters or context parameters we can provide in case of my web.xml i need to provide the extra configuration init param value and init param that value once the object is initializing that time we will fetch that configuration information and now my servlet container make that servlet object available for remaining request like uh, in case of uh, generic api generic servlet we are having the service method okay and we are having another different state as destroying servlet in this destroying servlet destroy is the method where we need to provide the some cleanup activity so by using these four states two things we can call it as life cycle management methods what are that the init method with servlet config and the destroy method the remaining other methods we can treat as life cycle methods those are not life cycle management methods okay hope you got the difference um, these are the different states okay life cycle methods of servlet you see init service and destroy these two states we can treat as life cycle management methods and this is life cycle method and this is also uh, one more thing one more article where we can get the how the init uh, how uh, what actions perform normally init method normally we may suspect that init method will be execute or get information only from the web configuration init param and init value no in this init operation we may perform some activities that we may fetch from the database as well it's not it's uh, we no need to uh, <clears throat> fetch from the web.xml it may be any initialization activity that may interact with the database from there we may fetch the information assume in this case uh, config dot git param this is fine yeah if you see this init right anyway this is calling init super fine if you see here we are reading some file information from the file and then we are parsing that one and we are getting the count variable based on this count variable we are performing other life cycle methods operations okay and this destroy is nothing but user defined activities we can proceed okay fine uh, let me go for one more article uh, of course this is not a difference this is a general difference between what is the servlet generic servlet as and http servlet okay the generic uh, servlet is the interface there won't be any uh, abstract methods or uh, there won't be any implementation for the method this is purely interface and in case of generic servlet we are having few abstract methods and few implementations for the method and in case of http servlet class all are the implemented methods nothing is the abstract method okay and this is the some major differences between these two th three things like servlet generic servlet and http servlet here also the content will be uh, very clear and what are the methods are the abstract methods and what are the uh, classes are abstract classes what are the interfaces and all, okay just go through this article as well fine now we uh, now it is clear that the object 
having life cycle management methods and life cycle methods okay apart from this two remaining all methods we can treat as a object life cycle methods now coming to spring bean life cycle management as uh, up to now we saw the uh, how for java objects and they life cycle management methods and servlet api as well even spring also having different life cycle management methods okay these are the two of the articles you can get some information uh, the life cycle uh, like as updated post construction and pre destroy once the construction is completed post construction and pre destroy these are the two life cycle management methods present in the spring bean okay. post initialization callback methods and pre destruction as we can treat actually or we can get this like even custom as well for we saw control life cycle post construct post construct and pre destroy like how we are having server later right? init and destroy okay means this life cycle uh, now it is clear we are having init and destroy are the being life cycle management method fine how can we achieve in case of spring bean means we can achieve this functionality by using three different ways like programmatic approach declarative approach and annotation based approach okay in case of declarative approach we are providing this information in terms of xml itself bean configuration itself there we are having init method and we need to provide the method name and a destroy method we need to provide the destroy method name okay these are the implementations for init and destroy this is declarative now programmatic approach means we need to extend or implement our classes from the spring specific interfaces in this case we need to implement our class from the initializing bean and disposable bean so these two interfaces having uh, two methods uh, interface methods we need to override those two method and we need to provide the implementation for this methods like after property set and destroy again uh, by spring bean is providing uh, this life cycle means uh, even we can use the same constructor in case of core java but why means in case of spring uh, we can do the injections by two different ways like constructor injection and setter injection constructor injection is mandatory and and uh, setter injection is not mandatory so at the time of bean initializing there may be chance of few properties or attribute may not available for the bean at the time of creation so once my bean is ready either it may be constructor or setter injection at the time of doing any activity or perform before performing any activity on that bean we need to do some mandatory initial activity like post construction and before the same we need to do some pre destroy activity because of this reason even spring has introduced different life cycle management methods okay and these are the different ways of achieving the spring life cycle management methods okay and this is programmatic also fine 
Now another one is annotation based approach. In case of annotation based approach, we need to go with the user defined method and we need to provide annotation as post construct and pre destroy. Then once my object is available with all the dependencies either constructor or setter injection then this init method will be executed. But in this case annotation driven we need to go for the uh, common annotation bean post processor we need to configure in the configuration file. Okay, this is pre destroy. Fine. Thank you. If it is helpful, please like, share, subscribe and comment on the video. Thank you.